Hi, this is Angela Murad at Amazing Kids AAC Consulting. Just a quick tip in case you've ever encountered a child who is an AAC user who prefers to just have text. And I explored text-based AAC apps, and the problem was is it didn't really have the age-appropriate vocabulary. So did you know that you can go into the settings on several AAC apps and set it to be text only, to remove the icons? So here's what the examples are gonna be in this video. I'm gonna show you TD Snap, Touch Chat, Cough Drop, and Prolo Quota Go. So in Prolo Quota Go, you go in and set it to label only, um, and then you can play around with what font you use to make it bold to make the labels stand out a little bit more. So this would be a way that you could use this app and then you can um, access typing here. So you could kind of create um, that whole setup that might work better for a child who prefers not to have symbols but isn't ready for a text-based app. Then I'm going to show you in touch chat, you toggle on this hide all icons. So that's what it looks like regular and then hide all icons. And it already has a nice large font. Um, and then you would access the keyboard like that. And this app has where you can program a button to open up the iOS keyboard if you want to use that as well. So that's also an option here. And then cough drop. Um, here's what it looks like using a uh, text only. And let me get out of speak mode, go over to preferences, go down to device layout. I'm on an iPad here. And under button text position is where I found text only. And then you can play around with your button text size there. So that's what that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and set that back to how I normally have it. And that's what that normally looks like. And in TD Snap, here's how you change it over to that text only layout. You go into edit mode, go to page set, style, and then see under buttons where it says layout, tap there, and you'll go to label only. And that's also where you could adjust the font size to make that a little bigger to fill those buttons. Um, so say it's at 175%, maybe I bump it up to 250. And easy as that. Here's what that looks like. So then the keyboard area has word prediction, um, but you still have all of your age appropriate topics and quick fires. And the other benefit of using one of these apps is you're going to have those child voices or access to some of them might require an in-app purchase, but you're going to have more options for age appropriate voices. As the user gets on up to like older, preteen maybe, but for sure teen, you could start exploring with adjusting the pitch maybe on an adult voice. But for younger users, it's it's important to have an age appropriate voice. So this is a way that you could offer them text um, if that's what they prefer to use, but still have appropriate vocabulary.